All right, boys and girls, so we are back. Today is Thursday, and I am going through page 341 in your math book. If you would like to follow along, you can pause this video. I think that many of you will find today's lesson uh, fairly easy. It's going to look very similar to what we did on Tuesday. So this is just another day of practice with adding fractions with like denominators, meaning the denominators are the same. Let's look at the first example here. Jonas is making nachos and tacos for a family party. Sounds good. He uses two-fifths of a bag of shredded cheese for the nachos and one-fifth bag for the tacos. So we have two-fifths bag, shredded cheese, four nachos, and one-fifth bag for tacos. How much of the bag of shredded cheese does Jonas use? Well, to me, what that kind of sounds like is here's my whole bag of shredded cheese, right? One bag. He is dividing this bag into, let's look back at the fraction, five equal parts, fifths. So fifths is fun to create. You kind of do like a square in the middle there. And then cut these last two pieces. Now, if I go back, it says he used two-fifths of the bag for nachos. So this is going to be nachos. And then he uses one-fifth of the bag for tacos. Tacos. So how much of the bag did he use? Well, if we add our two-fifths plus the one-fifth, we would get a total of three-fifths. So again, this is very similar. It's actually the exact same as what you did on Tuesday. Let's look at another example. It's now on page 342. Here's the table. See, Kaylee? There's that mysterious guinea pig looking hamster I was talking to you about. Yep, now you're seeing it. Let's look here. The table shows the results of a fourth grade pets club survey. So we have cats, dogs, hamsters, and birds. The question is, what fraction of the club members chose a hamster or a dog as their favorite pet? So it looks like we are looking at these two fractions right here. So I know that when we have like denominators, meaning they're the same, you can just add those together. So I have 4 twelfths who chose dog plus 2 twelfths who chose hamster. So if I want to find out who chose a dog or a hamster, I will add those together. If you look right down here, they're showing that to you using a number line. So again, just like on Tuesday, I will point out that when you look at this number line, just so you guys don't get confused when you see it in the book in just a moment. You can see that from 0 to 1, so there's your model. Let's see how many equal parts they've divided it into. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we are working with 12. So what they are showing us on this number line is going to be the two twelfths right here. And you can see there's one, two twelfths, so that's what they're showing you right here, plus the four twelfths, one, two, three, and four. When you add those together, you get a total of six twelfths, meaning if you were to start at the beginning of your number line, you could count over, starting here on zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six twelfths. You get the same thing when you add your numerators of two plus four to get six. I think you guys feel probably very confident about this work. Um, we won't spend time going over this problem because we actually did the exact same problem on Tuesday. But remember we were working with eights and it said like who is correct? And we said well you don't add the denominator together though. The denominator would stay the same. Therefore, 2 twelfths plus 4 twelfths would be exactly what we just said, 6 twelfths, not 6 twenty-fourths. You do not add these two together. No. 
So today on this page, you are going to complete right down here, 7 through 18. So you're actually not going to do number 18. So I guess really 7 through 17. And you're going to do the odd problems only, practicing adding fractions. And then when we turn the page, you are going to complete problems 19 through 21, referring to this table right here that provides fractions for shapes that are in a set. Let me know if you have any questions, and we will go over this in our math meeting.